Hey, this is Josh from joshmcdonald.net. I just wanted to make a video uh, discussing indexing your domain names. Now, this could be your money site. This could be uh, your private blog network. I sell hundreds of domain names. Um, well, I've probably sold somewhere around 800, 900 domain names in the past couple of years. And um, I just want to go over some of the questions that I receive. Basically, this morning I had some guy tell me that one of the domains I sold him was um, penalized by Google because he put lots of content on it and it still didn't get ranked. Now let's just understand one thing. Um, when a website is being indexed, it doesn't the on site doesn't really matter. It's that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to get it to to check the on site. That's the entire purpose of of indexing your website. So adding content isn't gonna do anything. You need to get a link or something pointing to that website to get Google to recheck that website that you now registered. So if that makes sense, um, I'm gonna go over probably three ways um, to easily index a domain name. And uh, the first one is straight up white hat. You can just type in on Google, submit um, URL to Google, it'll be something like that. And here it is right here, google.com forward slash webmasters forward slash tools forward slash submit hyphen URL. And if you just click this, um, basically you just put in your domain name and it's it's really, it's it's that simple. Google lets you just submit a domain name. Now, um, if you add, I don't think it works for URLs. So say you had a new blog post and you wanted to get it indexed. Um, I'm not sure if you can do that here. Someone can fill me in on that. But um, basically the first method I would use to index a expired domain name that you just registered would be to submit it here. Um, the next method would be to use Google Plus. Now, I have a Google Plus account. Anyone that has a Gmail account, I believe, also does. And I don't really use it for anything but indexing websites. But if you go ahead and go on googleplus.com, and you, you can see, I think I used this to index before, but um, it's a matter of just typing in your domain name and giving it some time and Google will index it. Um, this would be the second way. And then finally, I would tweet it. Um, I like using Add Me Fast. Um, basically, add site here, uh, tweet. Add me fast is free. It's basically like a tweet exchange uh, uh, network. And then just type in whatever it is, ASD.com. You know, three tweets. I usually put in like two credits per each tweet. And it'll tweet it a bunch of times. And if you really want to go overboard, you know, go 15 just to make sure it gets indexed. But, anyways, uh, three methods. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. But uh, there's a lot of confusion. So I figured I'd. Uh, clarify uh, this issue so once again on site doesn't really matter put as much content as you want on your website doesn't mean it's going to get indexed um, submit it to Google you can you can tweet it out on your personal account or use admifast.com uh, or uh, use Google Plus and uh, you can use your own account uh, you don't need to use it because I don't think admifast actually uh, yeah, you can't uh, you can't use URLs, but I don't use my Google Plus account anyway, so it's not a big deal just submitting uh, URLs. Anyways, hope this helped.